Hey everyone, this is Hurricane Hal with CNC here in Dauphin Island, Alabama. I want to show you the storm surge pushing in. Storm surge is really a push of salt water that comes across the landscape. It's the deadliest natural hazard in the world. And we have a, we're looking at a three to five foot storm surge in Dauphin Island. So let me give you an update with the late afternoon update from the National Hurricane Center. Hurricane Sally w was centered about 40 miles south about 45 miles actually south of Dauphin Island. The maximum sustained winds were 80 miles an hour. It makes it a category one hurricane. And check this out, drifting to the north, only moving at two miles an hour. And that's part of the story here. This is a long duration event. Even though the center is only 45 miles south of me, it may take about 12 to 14 hours for it to reach my location here, really around dawn tomorrow or a little bit before dawn. So. Really, this is a long duration event. We have tropical storm force winds, I would say sustained, maybe in the upper 40s, gust in the 60s, but it's really pushing in a pretty good surge. Winds will increase overnight and again, um, really peak around uh, the hours before dawn tomorrow. We're expecting about four to six feet of storm surge here. So far we have three feet. So we're expecting probably another maybe two to three feet of storm surge here in Dauphin Island. The peak storm surge will probably be a little bit farther east from here in Baldwin County over by Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. I think we could see four to six feet of storm surge and also even over by Pensacola, I think a pretty substantial surge. Um, hey, thanks for watching everyone. We're watching the storm surge. So we've had a prolonged and pretty strong wind pushing down here from the northeast. So I'm in the southwest corner of Mobile Bay. It's really pushing water across the bay, but flooding is really possible from Dauphin Island up to Mobile. Really the whole western edge and western uh, end of Dauphin Island, we've had a lot of surge pushing across the road. I was, I think, the last vehicle in around noon today. A lot of salt water was pushing across the road, a lot of debris across the road. It was tough getting in, and I don't think anyone will be getting out tonight. Um, because this storm is moving so slowly, we're looking at really tremendous rainfall. I think we could see around 15 inches from Dauphin Island up to Mobile, and rainfall could actually exceed. 20 inches in places like Baldwin County, Alabama, and Escambia County, Pensacola, or I'm sorry, Escambia County, Florida, over by Pensacola. And that creates a compound flood problem. So look at all this salt water that's pushing in right now. It's filling up the bays, it's filling up the inlets. And then if you dump 15 to 20 inches of rain, where's the rain gonna go? We already filled up the bays with salt water and so the rain is not going to drain. This is a long-term event. Even if landfall happens tomorrow morning, so Wednesday morning landfall in South Alabama, I think some homes may not flood until Thursday or even Friday, especially if you're near a river, a creek or a bayou. This is a long duration event. Sometimes we have hurricanes move through pretty quickly. And uh, we look at, you know, we consider the time of landfall as the most dangerous time. I think really the biggest impacts from Sally will be flooding and it'll happen over multiple days. So do not let your guard down after Sally makes landfall on Wednesday morning. A lot of people will maybe just start flooding really Wednesday into Thursday. It's a slow mover. Again, only moving to the north at two miles an hour and we're in for a long night and a long day again tomorrow of heavy, very torrential rain across Mobile, Baldwin uh, counties, Alabama and Escambia County, Florida. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. My name is Hurricane Hal. I work with CNC. I'm based out of Galveston, Texas. I work out of the office in Mobile, but always trying to document uh, flooding all along the Gulf Coast, the East Coast, and even inland. And CNC really likes to partner with communities. We like to really um, uh, understand the flood history, understand the flood risk, and um, really help improve resiliency in these communities. You can see the wind really picking up there. I'm in Dauphin Island, Alabama where we have this really strong wind now pushing and you can really see it now and you can hear it actually as well. I'm gonna be quiet here in a minute. This, these are some of the strongest winds we've seen. I think they're sustained now probably in the 50s. I'm gonna be quiet just for a, a minute or two so we can, we can hear it. Thanks for tuning in everybody. We're in Dauphin Island, Alabama, where Hurricane Sally is just centered about 40 to 45 miles south of here, drifting to the north at two miles an hour. Some of these heavier bands now moving in. I think we have wind sustained in maybe the upper 40s to mid 50s. Gusts definitely getting into the 60s now.
Hey everybody, this is Hurricane Hal. You're seeing salt water. That's storm surge for the most part. Yes, um, hey, I can actually read the comments. I've, I've learned it's easier to do this. I am in a vehicle right now. I'm in a um, idling car and I'm on Dauphin Island to let you know, I drove around actually quite a bit. I have not seen any trees down yet, but we're very concerned about tree falls in Alabama and Western Florida because it's a multi-day wind and flood event. So the soil is gonna get very waterlogged and we're gonna have wind stress on the trees for multiple days. I think we will see a lot of trees down. I have not seen any trees down yet. I've seen some siding off of houses. That's the only damage I've really seen. And I have seen some debris on roads from saltwater storm surge pushing on shore. That's really all I've seen yet. Have not really seen any substantial damage yet. But the eye will approach our area in the hours around or just before dawn tomorrow. So we're looking at a long night here on the Alabama coast where the winds will increase. I've talked to some friends over in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Winds are increasing there. If you had to put really a bullseye for where the strongest winds will probably be, I would say most likely over by Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama, will probably take the eye wall. Maximum sustained winds right now are 80 miles an hour. I think it'll make landfall around 75 to 80 miles an hour. That's hurricane force winds that can start to do some damage to buildings. But I think all the way from Mobile County over through Baldwin County, uh, those are both in South Alabama, and then Escambia County, Florida as well. I think we'll see a lot of trees um, falling, whether or not you get hurricane force winds. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit about that. The, the category system that we use to classify hurricanes, it's called the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale. It has everything to do with your wind. It does not really tell you that much about your flooding. So we can get a lot of flooding from a storm that is lower than hurricane force winds. Um, a tropical storm would be a, a, a a system with winds less than 24 uh, less than 74 miles an hour we can get substantial rainfall flooding even if it's not a hurricane so be prepared tomorrow uh, probably in the morning we'll hear that sally has made landfall and soon after that we'll probably hear that it's downgraded quote unquote to a tropical storm that does not mean your flood risk has reduced the flood risk will actually i think increase through the day wednesday and maybe even thursday so this this category system has everything to do with the wind but does not tell you about your flood risk and a lot of people will start flooding long after landfall I'm just letting the video play. I see some new people are tuning in and um, I've just been giving a little bit of commentary. This is Hurricane Hal. I'm in Dauphin Island, Alabama. I'm near the southwestern edge of Mobile Bay. We've had a strong northeast wind and it's just increasing. It's pushing water across the bay. We've had three feet of storm surge here on Dauphin Island so far. We're forecast to get really four to six feet. So I think we'll get about another two to three feet of surge. Really love the comments. I always want to provide relevant stuff that, that you guys want to see. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I may want do one more live video before dark from the marina. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Hurricane Howell. I'm going to sign off for now. I'm over here in uh, Dauphin Island, Alabama. We have Hurricane Sally to the south of us, about 45 miles, drifting to the north. And we'll make a, cr a close approach here. If the eye does not go over Dauphin Island, it'll pass just to, to our east, I think, um, in the hours just before dawn or around dawn on Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.